welcome to Gen X Toy Box. We have a little bit of a mail call tonight, and then we have some cool stuff that we found this past weekend. We had a kid-free weekend for the holiday, and we went somewhere really cool. Uh, but I'll talk about that a little bit later because I kind of want to do the mail call. Um, so one of the things came from Sticker Mule, and I think I know what that one is. The other stuff, not so sure. Um, but my guess is it's Joe's. So I'm going to start with the bag because I think it's a G.I. Joe. So I, I'm going to see if my instincts are correct. I mean, they have been lately. I've been guessing G.I. Joe's, and they are. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see. Feel like it. Surprise, surprise. It's a laser viper. I knew it. See? I could sense. Because I knew he was buying more of these. I just knew. And again, in case you haven't seen our other videos, he's buying tons of these for customizing purposes. He's working with our friend Solomon to get some custom pieces. And um, I want to say, he, I forget, I think he's using the arms um, for these for his custom character. So, um, hooray, another one. I swear, he has so many of these now. All right, and this one, um, I was a little curious. I'm like, did you buy me a book? I doubt it. There's probably Joe's in here, too. Not gonna lie. Um, but we'll see. There's a box inside this bag. Oh, let's see, let's see. I hate priority boxes. You know I hate opening them. They're, they're the worst. Because they're, they're the stickiest. I mean, I guess when you're trying to ship stuff, it's good. When you're trying to open it, it's a disaster. this I wonder oh so it's a bat and oh it's got his card too um so this is the 86 bat and um yeah it looks like it has its card too so I'm gonna take it out again I'm not mad at him for buying bats I really like bats I think they're cool especially um I don't know if you've seen some of the stuff I put up on my Instagram lately um the stuff we've been doing with Solomon and putting his custom heads on everything um He's definitely trying to get more because he's coming out with tons, tons, tons of new stuff. Um, and my husband's just scooping it up like crazy. So um, I think this is a complete one because he's got his arms and he's got his backpack and he has all of his like attachments in there. So that's pretty cool. I'm not about to put that in his back because I'm not trying to break it today. So very cool bat, right? And like I said, He's got his chest plate and all, his chest piece, his decal, and he's got his backpack. So that was a good find. And, you know, his backing card. Mm, I love the backing card. So, yeah, this is a good find on his part. I'm not mad at this one. Can't wait to see what head he's going to put on it. I'm very curious as to see which one he's going to choose because we have, like, we got purple, we've got green, we've got blue. We've got tons of stuff. Um, plenty to choose from. And I think he just ordered more from Solomon, too. All right. So, as predicted, two of them were Joe's. How'd I know? All right. And now, let's do our sticker mule one. Um, I don't remember ordering anything from sticker mule. Um, I think my husband did one. Because they were having tons of sales. Um, like a sale a day type situation, which is really cool. Um, and really bad for our budget. Um, so I know he got tons of stuff done and I'm curious as to what he chose this time. So as per usual, you get your sticker mule stickers and a coaster, which is neat. Oh, I remember he made it. Well, I remember he asked me about these. Um, so this is a roll of 50 and these are Gen X toy box stickers. Look how cute that is. And see, they've got our uh, YouTube address up there. And it also has like a YouTube and Instagram symbol. Very cute. And I love that he did like the pinkish background for me. So that's awesome. I can't wait to stick these everywhere. I can use these for giveaways maybe or like some swag. Um, but this is our friend Chris. Our friend Chris did this art. He drew me playing with some toys. So that's really neat. I am now some stickers. Some, some big rounded stickers because we have tons of other ones. All right. So, a while back, we did a video where we 
pretty much pillaged this woman's house with of her turtles. She had an entire living room full. Her name is Tamla. Her husband's name Herman. And we became kind of kindred spirits with them. They love collecting toys. They had tons from their grandkids and, you know, tons from their kids. So they had a ton of stuff, but they weren't entirely sure what all their stuff was. And us, being the toy aficionados that we are, we decided to go over and help them out and, you know, kind of sort through their stuff, tell them what they had, bag them up, label them. I mean, we were there five hours, but it didn't feel like five hours. We had a blast. We got to touch so many different toys, weapons we were doing, like Transformers, G.I. Joes, everything you can think of. And of course, we got first pick of what we wanted. So I kind of wanted to show off the things that we got from them. Um, so toward the end, we were about to leave and she's like, oh, you know, I want to get an idea of what you guys want and I'm going to start pulling it from upstairs. And I was like, oh, you know, I'm kind of back into, I'm getting into popples. She's like, popples, I have some of those and rainbow bright. I was like, oh no, here we go. So I've got some more popples for myself. I took like all she had, well, at least all the vintage ones anyway. Um, she had a bag of newer ones, but I definitely wanted to take the vintage ones. So if you remember, I did a video where I got another one. It's like a purple one, but now I got this little cute white one and he's got his tail. I like him. And then, that's not the only one I got. I got this one. This is a bright orange one. I like this one. I think this one's going to be a boy. I like it. And it's got a cute little tail and everything. So I just scooped these puppies up. I was like, these are going to be mine. Thank you very much, Tamala. They're going in my collection upstairs. So now apparently I'm a popple collector. And I saw another popple the other day at Chromag Toys. And I think I might have to go back and get it. Um, it was like, I think it was a soccer player one or a basketball, football. I don't remember. It was some kind of sports player. And I think I kind of need that for my collection. So now I think I'm collecting popples. Fantastic. Um, so on the rainbow bright side, I got this cute sprite. I'm really excited. Um, this is a vintage one. I'm going to try and like brush out his fur a little bit and make him like kind of fluffy again. But I got him, and yeah, this is the 1983 version, so look at him. He's so cute, right? And I believe I have a rainbow bright upstairs, which I'm going to have to bring out probably. I think it's in my closet. Um, so these guys are going to go on my futon in my office. And then, oh, I forgot a popple. See, we have a little popple mini. See, he just, you know, pops in and pops out. They look how cute. So, yeah, this is another little vintage one that we got. This is a little mini. So this one's gonna go upstairs. This is the cutie pie. And then um, I did get another Sprite. I love him because of his little doofy hat. He looks like a sleepy Sprite. And I think that's why I like him so much. And I don't know if these pins are supposed to be here. Probably not because it's a children's toy, but who knows, it was the 80s. Um, I like the fact that the pins are on there because I don't know, it just adds a little bit of character. So. I like him. He is one of my other things that I bought. Um, and then the other bag I'm blaming entirely on my husband. <laughs> the, this was, these were mine. Um, my husband was going through. He's like, ooh, mine, 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 mine. I think I only have like five figures in this bag. So um, I'm not taking responsibility for what comes out of this bag. And we did find somewhat of a treasure in here, which I'm going to save for last because it's a very rare piece. Um, so this is what I think our holy grail of the day was. We were watching Mega Mind one night with our little one, and we saw like the fish head guy in like the gorilla suit, but it was like a mechanical gorilla suit. And I was like, man, wouldn't it be cool if they made an action figure of that? I would buy that action figure. We looked it up. Apparently, it was an action figure. It was like out of our price range. We're like, I'm not spending, you know, all this on just like a joke action figure. First toy, I kid you not. First toy I saw when I walked in was the action figure we were looking for. How cool is this? Look at him. He's like got the little fish head thing and like the gorilla costume. Like, this is a cool action figure. Um, Mega Mine was an okay movie, I think. Um, but this overall just, it made my day. That was, that was my favorite find because it's like a, a family inside joke and we even tried making like a custom one of these and out of clay. It was, it's a thing. So I was very happy to find this. All right. Um, so last time when we got the turtles, 
We did not pick this guy up. Apparently, he has two different variations. He has, like, a regular brown chest, and he has this, like, orange and brown chest. Come to find out, we do not have an orange and brown chested one. So we had to go back and get that one. And this is from TMNT, the 2012 series. So um, definitely had to go back and pick him up. It was a, a must-have. Um, I'm trying to see what else is in here. Oh, okay. So this right this is a cool find um but back when we went to blake's toy chest and we did a walkthrough and you saw what we got at the store this is a sonic toy and i had gotten the golden she-ra from blake's but now i found the regular she-ra i was a little upset that i you know didn't have the regular one so i feel a little better because now i have the regular she-ra to go with my golden one so very cool sonic toys didn't even know they were out um, you know, it goes with the whole she cartoons, so very cool find there. Um, and then we have this little guy. I, I don't even know. He looks like a lava Sasquatch. I mean, I guess that's honestly the best description I have for him is a cute little lava Sasquatch. Um, and he's, it looks like he's even scaly, but he has, he has a Sasquatch face. So I don't know. Maybe he's like his desert cousin instead of the forest cousin. I don't know. But, um. But yeah, he's cute. And that's for my husband. Um, and then, okay, I'll take full responsibility for this one. So I have no idea what this is, but I absolutely love it. Um, it's like a children's place, you know, like, I, I don't know if you're familiar, but it's like the children's place is a little place where you can get kids clothes and stuff, and sometimes they have toys. But this is really cute, and I like it. And I, it's a keychain thing, and I want to put it on my keys or somewhere, like on my bag or something, because I really think he's cute. And he has some charisma, and um, he's mine. So I, I'll take responsibility for this one, that one. I will only. All right, and then we have some random robots. So we have that one, um, and then we have this one. We love the, like, little wind-up thingies. They're really, really cute. Um, I'm pretty sure there are more in here. Here's another one. I love him. Oh, he's got a lot of eyeballs and everything. So I think that, oh, no, there's more. This one's like a, a Bobo Transformers, I think, because it's got like, I don't know, it's got a Transformers symbol on there, but I don't know. It looks kind of Bobo-ish to me, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, we got those robots. And what other robots do we have in here? Oh, we have this guy, which is really dope. I don't know why. He's like an army helicopter person, so he's really neat, right? Um, and then, um, oh yeah, this guy. And he definitely moves, too. So he's got, like, little rollies on the bottom of his feet. So he can, like, you know, go back and forth. So he's cool. He kind of reminds me of that guy. Um, and then off the same thing as robots. So this is really cool. I don't... This looks like a praying mantis type thing. Um, it's definitely, like, some kind of knockoff, I think. But it's really cool. So I'm going to take these little robots off. I, I'm going to show this to you guys after I move the little robots. Maybe it's like a cricket grasshopper. Okay, I see it now. Okay, I see grasshopper. It's it's really cute. So, um, I didn't see him grab this one. This one was a surprise to me in the bag, but I like it a lot. Um, I may not like real grasshoppers or bugs at all, but this is pretty cute. I like it. And here's another little cute. Adorable. Very nice. So, I'm kind of glad he picked that one up. Um, and then this one, I, the, oh, they have really interesting hip joints on this one. I wasn't expecting it to be so, like, rolly, so I like that. Um, and on the arms, too. So I'm kind of, um, this is like a mini Gundam type thing, and I really like it. Um, I like those joints. Those are really nice rolly joints. There's a lot of articulation there for that little figure, so that was a nice find on his part. Um, i trying to see. I think that pretty much does it for the robots. Well, I guess, I mean, this guy's a robot, and he's actually got liquid in his head. So I still have to look and find out what he is. I never did my research on him yet. Um, but he's really weird looking, and he's dirty. He needs a bath. So I really want to find out more about him. But look at his head. There's liquid in there. I just, I, I got to learn more. This is, this is a really interesting one. He kind of reminded me of, you know, the... The mega mind one but very very cute curious about that one i like it all right 
Um, and then this one was my find. This is like a 1980s Burger King toy. Mainly because it's Halloween. That's why I got it. And it's a vintage Halloween one. So, um, very cool. Why do I feel like these come apart or something? They do. They're mix and match ones. I feel like I've, I've seen these before. Because all of a sudden it just hit me. I'm like, these come apart. And you can mix and match them. So, like, I think there's a Frankenstein body, a witch body, like a Dracula body. You know, the typical. Um, so, I have to look into that some more. Um, oh, I lied. There's more of a robot in here. So, um, this looks like it's Terminator. Even though it's not. But that was my first impression. It looked like it was a Terminator. And, oh, that's cool. Um, so, this is Metallo from DC. But, like, how neat is that? As soon as I saw this chest thing, I know exactly what it was. So, that's really cool. That's a neat feature. Um, so, yeah, and he's got, like, some very twisty action here. So, that's cute. Um, yeah, so he's got, like, the kryptonite in his chest type situation. I like this. It's very nice. It's a cool action figure. So, um, and then... I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we're going to give that one to our friend Chris, because we're not really, you know, we don't collect that series, so I think that's something that we're going to give our friend, um, our friend Chris, he probably needs it. What in the world? It's just like a platypus build monster, like I didn't even see this make it in the bag, but apparently it did. Um, that is my husband's fault. Okay, this one's my fault too. So this is um, from Teen Titans Go. Her little um, Starfire's like little pet creature. I just think it's cute and I wanted it. So it's fine. Super cute. All right, what else do we have in here? Oh, my husband did get it. Um, so this is a, cr I wasn't expecting him to do that. Um, my husband got a crash test dummy and this is the newer ones. It's not one of the vintage ones. Um, but it's still kind of neat. So you press his chest and he falls apart as he should. So that was cool. I didn't know he picked that one up. I know I saw it and I thought it was cool. And I think we have a couple vintage ones and I'm trying to figure out where we got them from. I don't remember. I want, uh, I don't know. I want to say, the one, the, I want to say the store we go to in Valdez, but I'm, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, I know we picked up a couple before, so, um. Maybe it's Toy Busters. I think that's what it was. I think it was Toy Busters. Okay. Um, okay, so my husband got this one because he was missing it in his collection. And I really like this because... Um, so this is Apocalypse. And I like it because... I mean, not Apocalypse. Why do I keep calling him Apop Apocalypse? Um, I like this because he has this feature in his eyes um, where you can see, um, you know, his whole... Like, you press it, and his eyes light up. Like, this is really cool. Um, why can I not think of his name right now? Dark Side. God. Uh, it just would not come to my face at all. Um, but, see, look. Like, no lighting up. Lighting up. Lighting up. Very cool, right? Very creepy eye feature. So, I know my husband doesn't have this one. So, this is going upstairs in the collection. All right, well, I guess I can share. He got another Mr. T. For what reason, I'm not entirely sure. He can always use the head for something or just another Mr. T to tease me with. Um, maybe we can start up a game. So back when we started watching um, the vintage She-Ra, we found a little looky doll, right, that we got. And we started hiding looky around the house. And it was, you know, whoever found Lucky can then hide Lucky around the house for the next person to find. And it became a thing. We did it for months. Um, maybe now we can hide the Mr. T and see what weird places he can show up. Um, I think that might be a new fun and frustrating game to play. So I'll let you know if we actually get in on that one. Um, and then along that line, um, so this is a nice Galoob toy. Um, this is... a uh, from Galoob, and it's an A-Team villain, and oh, I can't I think of his name right now, Cobra, I think it is, um, 
So, yeah, so this is a really good find. I've actually never seen him before. Um, not in person, anyway. Um, so this is a really cool find. I like this. And he's going to go fight Mr. T, probably. But we're not going to hide him around the house. We're going to put him up with our other Mr. T slash A-Team stuff. Um, and then my husband found a weapon. And this is, like, some kind of weird... I, we don't know what it's from yet. We're going to figure it out. But it's, like, some kind of witch doctor triton spike thingy which is neat um and then this is just a really cool weapon my husband liked because it's got like skulls and bones and all that weird stuff so not sure what it goes to but i mean mr t can hold it i mean why not right um and then the last thing i found was a spice girls membership card that i sure am gonna put my name on and i'm gonna laminate it and i'm gonna put it in my wallet because i'm a dork um all right and so we've come down to the piece de resistance, what my husband found, um, which many have look, been looking for, but not many have found. Um, this guy, all right? Now, if you're, you're a toy fanatic like, like we are, you, you're kind of gasping a little bit. So this is a Matt Majors, right? Uh, that's not, um, Mason, Matt Mason is what his name is. And the cool thing about this is, this is like an astronaut toy, right? But the cool thing is, in the time era this is made, right? Um, the time piece, when this was made, there were not many African American astronauts, you know, made into toys, brought into toy lines. Um, so it was very important and very um, meaningful for us to have this piece in our collection because it is showing black excellence and giving good role models and, you know, um, good career ambitions to uh, people of color. So I, I really like this piece. And it's a little tidbit that I kind of wanted to add in where it ties to Masters of the Universe. And you might think, like, how can something like this, I think this is made by Play School. Um, I, I can't think of it right now. Or Little Tyke, some, like one of those. Um, could even be to tell, not to tell sure. But these toys, were you would not think would have a line into He-Man. But it does. Um, so this is a universe of its own, of these you know, space cadets going out into space, doing, exploring all the stuff, doing all the cool space stuff. Um, so you always see them in their blue suits. Well, when... Hello there. I am so grateful that we have reached another milestone. I love doing these videos. It means that you guys are watching and subscribing. So thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. Um, so we have to set a new goal. And I think I'm going to go big at 1,000 subscribers. And we're pretty close. So please, everybody, continue to spread the word. Share on your social media pages. Get your friends and family together. Um, anybody you may know that may like toys or anyone that just likes YouTube. Um, so spread the word. I would love to get 1,000 subscribers. And then we can do another giveaway. Don't know what it's going to be yet. Um, maybe some suggestions. What would you think? What would you like to see? What would you like to see as far as a giveaway? Um, do you want to do like a toy, a tour, a toy and a tour? Just curious. Um, but again, thank you guys so much for the support. And this has been a really great journey. So let's make it to 1,000. We can do it. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs>
not a lot of African Americans were made into toy lines um, purposely and not in um, a way that showed a lot of black excellence. So I'm really happy that we actually have this piece and that we can add it to our collection and it's also meaningful. But the really cool thing about this though, so he's, he's you know, he's got his suit, he's got his, you know, whole cadet thing going on. There's a little toy fact I kind of wanted to share with you about this. So I was watching a YouTube video and um, our friend Scott Knight, like he was actually talking about this and when he was working for Mattel, he was trying to think of ways to integrate this toy line into the Masters of the Universe toy line. And he was thinking of potentially taking um, the green cadet, because they all had different like color outfits. Like this guy, um, I don't think I mentioned, his name is Jeff Long and he's in the blue. Um, and I think the, and you know, there's like different color ones and each of them had different color. But he was thinking of taking the green cadet and turning it into Prince Adam's mom, Queen Marlena, who went missing. So that would have been cool. I don't think he got a chance to actually bring that to fruition, but it would have been a cool thing to find out um, and to, to work into the universe. But, you know, this is this is a really cool piece. It's it's timeless, and he's in really good shape. Most of the time you see these are, like, broken and everything. So um, this is a really cool piece in our collection. So um, that is what we found at her house. That is what we found in the mail. We have a lot of really cool toys. We had a blast. Um, so I'm going to put some of these toys away and get some of these washed. But until next video, guys, I'll see you next time.